Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's lovely to have you here. Now I am working on a um, Christmas botanical uh, kit by Nanine at Collage Type and I am creating a flippy flappy envelope um, folio which I started making, um, you love seeing the film on Christmas Day, using lots of, lots of um, envelopes that I had lying around. Um, yeah, and it's turned into you know quite a nice little project. So um, I said I would probably have one more video on it. I think I'm going to need two at least because I do want to put lace and things like that on the back. Um, and I'm not doing really, really long videos at the moment. So since um, I last filmed, which was two days ago, <coughs> excuse me, which will have been Boxing Day morning, I think, um, I have, yeah, I've, I've done a few little bits, nothing, nothing major to it. I um, backed a couple of the um, elements, so these are like um, labels or um, embellishments, just a couple of them onto some of my, well it was a piece of scrap card but it's my coffee dyed card but it, it's a small scrap piece. Um, just to make them strong enough I think to make a couple of tucks, so I think I might, I'll just say that I've got them ready, I might want some tucks in here. Um, I did the same with that one and then I just had a little play making it into a snippet but it is a tuck. I have um, put some paper on the back so that it can be tucked behind so I just put, these are all bits from the kit so I put a, a torn piece of the tape measure, um, one of the tickets which I had also stuck onto some of this card and then I cut, I cut with my punch, punched out I should say, a hole out of one of the, um, one of these little type elements just to get a different shape, a circle from there. So that's a tuck, I thought that way up, and then I put that on the back, some black lace. So that's a tuck and that'll be a tuck if I want it. What else did I do? I had a little play um, with this tag. I, let me just get my, I did that, did that so I could punch it. I, um, yeah, put some of that coffee dyed um, music paper on the back. So I, I found a real plain piece, as you can see. Um, so it's nice to write on. Uh, put one of the little elements on it again and then a piece that was left over from this I just folded over and glued on there so that I could do this make it into a tab and then I can put it's quite strong as it is actually or I can put one of these in it I'll put one in shall I just grab a darkish one if I can <laughs> I can't don't want to tip them all out. Oh, it's green. Will dark green go? Yes, it will. It's a green. I don't use many of those green ones. I bought them as aqua, if you remember, thinking aqua meaning water meaning blue, but aqua means water means green. <laughs> the We Are Memory Keeper ones. Yeah, so put some string through there and we've got a nice... I was just playing, literally just sat at my table um, playing while I, while I can. And um, yeah, I backed... I haven't cut them off but I have backed them some of the other tags from the kit ready to put in. So we've got pockets to put in and embellishing embellishments and um, a journal. Yeah I've trimmed the journal, journal pages. Good grief that was a bit of a gurgle wasn't it? So let me just do a couple of these and then I'll show you what I've done with the journal and where I think it might go. And then I'm not putting um, these in the journal or embellishing the journal because the pages are absolutely beautiful on their own. I am going to embellish the envelope pockets, uh, the envelope flaps and add pockets too. So I'm talking but I'm not making sense. <laughs> I'm talking without thinking. My brain's not properly in gear. I just suddenly decided to get up and do this. Um, I, I wasn't sure if you was going to have a, another video yet because I've been having Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, which has really suited me. Now I'm really in the mood for filming now, so that, that has passed. The issue now is my back. <laughs> so it's not that I'm, I'm not in the mood for doing it, I absolutely am, but it's how long I can sit. So my idea is today, this evening, so I don't know if you can tell because I've got all my lights on, but I'm evening crafting. Um, ouch, yeah, and when I move my legs they hurt. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just come on and start filming and then see see how far I get. So if I do enough for it, you know, long enough to be a film, 
a video worth you know worth uploading for you guys then i will upload it straight away and if i only manage like 15 minutes or so and then i'm in pain i will just save it and add on to it tomorrow and put it up so you might see it tuesday you might see it wednesday <laughs> you might see it thursday so yeah whichever one of those days it is i hope um i hope you're all well yep so i did the same on this i cut a lot of the green edging off it though so when i trimmed it i probably ought to do that here as well that thick green don't know why because i like it i was just a bit scissor happy so that's another one of those that i thought might be a tuck as soon as i have plenty of those little embellishmenty things so that's that's all the tags that i backed not too many um i glued the envelopes now these have got papers in which i will just ink i think and leave them as papers rather than make them into card oh, i think these two were supposed to be in here or one of them was anyway maybe both of them there we go so i've got those as pocket fillers so to go into pockets so we've got tags and envelopes as pocket fillers couple of tucks and then there was four pockets if you remember which i've just backed onto some scrap just to give them a bit of strength because i don't when i print a kit out i print it all onto the one paper i'm not good at you know stopping the printing halfway through and changing to card or whatever and i'm, I'm quite happy to to back the things that i need to like this rather than stop and change the paper all the time in my printer so so i'm printing on 120 so to some degree these pockets would be fine you know if i'd have put them in just paper thickness um but just to give them a bit of added strength i've backed them like i often do so there's four four pockets from the kit and um there was four envelope, uh, not envelopes, um, postcards, which I couldn't decide whether to make pockets or not. I often use the postcards for pockets to make lovely pockets, um, but I might use them for filling pockets. So I've kept them just on the paper and inked them at the moment. Now there was a lot more than four. There was either eight or 12, and I've just taken the, like the Christmassy or the green ones out. There was some plain with nothing on which I have put into my stash, as it were, for my next journal, which won't be a Christmassy one, but will be using up digital. So it will have very likely quite a bit of Nanine's papers in it. Nanine is collage type. I think I said that, but I can't remember. I say it on most videos, so I can't, can never remember if I've said it or not. Um, on Etsy and on YouTube. Oops, there you go. That's a lovely piece of my coffee dye that I'm not getting rid of. Right, so I think that's all I've done, apart from the journal, which I'm about to show you. Um, I showed you those, which are going to be either fillers or pockets, I don't know. There's two more that I um, cut out, um, journal cards, and again, I haven't inked those or anything, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So they're there. And then there was the file folder, which I showed you on the paper. I've just cut it out, that's all I've done. I haven't backed it or anything thought that might be nice popped into a pocket with anything that's left in it. I wondered about actually making, because um, these are all the scraps, if I don't use these up this might make a nice flippy flappy tear pad. You know, if we just make it the size for in there that would be a nice tear pad to go with this wouldn't it? I definitely um, want some lace on there I've decided. Um, what was I showing you? I was showing you the um, the journal so these are just those four no eight yeah eight a4 pages and i've done them back to back that's right which has left me four four like that um, and i've just trimmed them all round and folded them and put them together so that's that i was wondering about putting other papers in i'm not going to i'm just going to make it a very small um journal and i'm going to put it into this as a cover which is cover as you can see off one of the antique vintagey books that i got in the summer i think i sent the other cover to tanya actually so you might have seen it i don't know to tanya who is tatty treasure and it fits as a cover just perfectly i was my idea was to trim that off but i've kind of fallen 
fallen for it so I've left it. Now I'm not going to ink it or put anything on the front of it or anything I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I'm just going to sew this into here so the signature into this and then what I was thinking was um, because it's going on this back page here I was thinking I could just put a long pocket I, I thought about belly band but I think just a long thin pocket there for it to just tuck into and that's that's a good use of that page and then we've got all this um, journaling or playing playing with paper on the back so I think I'm just going to sew that together yeah put it in there on a pocket and that's it's not too thick look I mean I haven't got the um the pockets and things in yet sorry if I'm rocking you but it's not too thick is it so had I covered everything I think I had yeah we did that last video didn't we so let's pop that onto one side I mean I can I'll sew it with you in a, in a moment or two but I'd rather put some pockets in wouldn't you <laughs> wouldn't you rather see some pockets because once the pockets are in then we can start filling it and embellishing it oh I've got a little I've just been having a play with this this is something that I got for Christmas um glitter kiss so it's very much like the um it's the same pot and everything as the uh, wax it's not wax is it well, i always say wax the gilding polish so this is just glitter kiss is what it's called and it just it just says use the sponge like on the gilding polish but i never do which is in here oh sorry i never use that i just generally put a piece of paper or a cotton bud or a something in here um, and actually I just I didn't know I thought it had a cover on so I went like that to take the cover off and it's not it hasn't so you can probably see my fingerprint in there which you're not supposed to do let me just see if I've got a brush here I've got one of these frilly ones so I don't know if you can see you just rub it on like you do the gilding polish is it is the light probably not because it's so dark I don't know if the light's picking it up or not but it's sparkly I won't know till I play that back because I can't can't see anything. Ooh. See now I've put that in, I can't put it in again. But I've loaded it up. Because I thought some of this might be nice on some of these when I get to them. That's why I had a little practice with it on that. So this is a bigger version and it just oh yeah, just gives it that glistening kind of oh, can you see that one? Oops. Oh nice. Anyway, stop playing. <laughs> so I've got four pockets. I mean, obviously I don't want to put too much in here because it will get heavy. But I definitely want to put in, and that tuck that I made. Yep, yeah. and possibly two more tucks, I don't know. And possibly those as pockets, I don't know. Let's see, but these, these four definitely, and that tuck. Now I need to fold them. I'll just fold or should I really be in my score I think because I've backed them Ooh. and I didn't fold them before I backed them I couldn't decide whether to or not maybe I should have um, where is the score you know the tool I think this is the big one off the big board but I think it'll still work um, I can't even see where one ends and the other starts so I think that's about there yep that's it yeah I probably should have done these before I turn the camera on but like I say I suddenly decided I need to go film So yeah, um, I've had a, a rough old Christmas really with my backs, it, well with my trapped nerve, it's my sciatic nerve that's trapped. I have stop, stopped going to the chiropractor, I was going every week at one point and you know it was nice, it made it feel better but it didn't, you know she said it would take months and months to heal it and I've been oh, going every week or you know once a fortnight at £40 a go there comes a point where you've got to just stop <laughs> stop doing it and uh, yeah get it healed yourself that one's not where it should be so I've got, I don't know if it was my cutting that went off but we need the corners to meet 
that's better. Need square corners because they stand out. If not, yep. Um, that's the others. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to the chiropractor anymore. I'm just doing, you know, the exercise that, that she told me I would have to do, and icing it and uh, heat. Yeah, sometimes, oops, sometimes heat, sometimes ice. I think I'm probably not lining it up is the problem. And uh, painkillers, yeah, and rest. And I think the problem is it was getting better, and now. I've done way too much on the run up to Christmas in hindsight. Just thinking I'll just do a bit more and I'll just do a bit more and yeah, way too much. And there was no need. We had far more than we needed. Oops. I cleaned far more than I needed. You know, you know how it goes. So yeah, it's just a, a matter of babying it along again a bit now until until I get it in a better better place, which I am doing, but once again, it's the, it's the crafting that uh, is missing out. Well, it's me that's missing out on the crafting, but it was me that did it, so. So now that's all out of the way, and we've definitely decided to not do anything more in the house until the weather turns a bit better. It's not the weather for decorating and having windows open and and things like that. So for now everything in the house has stopped. It, it's livable now. It's much more livable than it was when we moved in so it's not too much of a hardship. Like I say my, my bedroom desperately needs decorating but to be fair once you go in there and shut your eyes <laughs> you forget about it and uh, you know nobody else sees it either so that can be a spring a spring project and I'm uh, only thing I am going to do and it's did I say it's the day after boxing day already I'm ready for the Christmas decorations to be taken down so um, yeah another day maybe and I think they will be they definitely will be down before Neil goes back to work. They should be gone and then, oops, and it's just me in the craft room <laughs> and the cat. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Lots of, well, I think like I said in the last video, lots of new projects coming up and lots of old ones that didn't get done <laughs> to do. So lots of projects coming up. Yeah, I've still got the drawer. I haven't forgotten the drawer for those of you that are with me all the time. The secret drawer, and uh, yeah, I've got I've got what it's going to be. I've got the prize for it. So watch this space. I know you will, because uh, you know, like I say, I'm going to draw from previous videos where uh, you know my old faithfuls are always watching, bless them and commenting. Right. Um, I will just go on, choose choose maybe three or four videos just in case there's one or two that somebody's missed and they've commented on all the others. Yeah, probably choose three or four videos and get everybody who's commented on them into the draw. I've done it before, if you've been with me a while. Right, that's got those ready, sorry. That was a bit, bit long-winded and boring, wasn't it? So I definitely want one when we first open it. So do we want it on this side or the hidden side? I think I'd like it on the outside. So I've got a couple of very, well, three quite plain actually, that want something on, but this one isn't plain. I just want to, I definitely want to ink that top edge where I've cut it. I think, thought I could see something. <laughs> Probably the way I folded it, that's it. That's better, whoops. Yeah, I think because I'm inking the top edge, it needs inking all the way around. Now it's got that lovely, writing on so I'm thinking on that edge there oh look <laughs> can you see the whole thing now do I want that this is a taller one oh, I'm wondering do I just want the tuck there because I really like that I'm going to be like this all the way through aren't I I'm going to like the just wondering if it could be an up tuck 
Now I've got those envelopes, haven't I? Yes, there's two of them. Yeah, I think I might put that on there as an uptuck. So, what? The top and that side. Oh, I still haven't, still haven't filled this up. <laughs> Is that right? No. The side you're holding is the side you don't want it on, Denise. Oh, excuse me, a bit of a hiccupy. There, that should be plenty. Um, a bit, bit, of an bit of an angle. I have got the dog's teeth in today, I'm sure. I don't even know what I'm saying myself half the time. When it leaves my brain, it makes perfect sense. Oh, that's dried really. I hope you can see that. It's beautiful and shimmery. Just check there's nothing leaking out of there. Yeah. I don't know, it's just when I, op you know, when you open it, I quite like the look of that. And something like that just tucked in when you take it out. Yeah, that's beautiful and on show, isn't it? So I won't put that in yet, but I'll put it over there to say it's for there. So now this would be a nice for one on this side, wouldn't it? It would be nice for a nice long side tuck. Let's just see where else we might have a pocket then. I'm thinking of opening that. Yeah, I think I'm going to open that and just put some embellishment on there. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily want something on there. So embellish, embellish, open that and a big card. So we want something on this, don't we? I'm wondering about two pockets. Uh, if that one goes in there, it's hidden, isn't it? So, do we want two hidden pockets? Hmm. Or do I want two of these as pockets? That might be nice, might it? Perhaps the darker ones, that one definitely, that's a nice dark one. Um, and that one. Sorry about that rattling on there. It's, I'm sat in a different place again. I think if I put a little a bit bigger divot than that, divot in them. And I'm they're not um, gusseted or anything, I'm not going to gusset them, so I'll just put them down with something small in them. Do you even know where the middle of that is? I feel like I was probably miles off. That's no good. That's what we want. Uh, 12, very nearly 12. So not quite six, about there. Best be safe. About there. Oh. Well, actually, that, that bit there must be in the middle, I'm guessing, so let's see. Should have done them together, shouldn't I? That's not bad for by eye. Not bad at all. Right, let's have them inked. I think I'm getting ready for a new dobber. It's getting a bit blurry, if you know what I mean. A bit fluffy, so it's spreading it. I don't want a nice neat line. I'm getting a blurry line. Never mind. So Christmas is just about done. This is definitely my last Christmas project. It, it didn't start out being a Christmas project, um, but obviously I had those papers here waiting, waiting to be used. Oh, what is that all about? I had this problem last time, didn't I? I definitely need to clean it out and fill it. It's obviously got some sort of an airlock going on. Gosh, I'm still doing it. Stop. What a waste of art glitter glue that was. Yeah, so these will just have something not too thick in them. Um, you know, if I haven't got anything suitable ready-made. had the shakes then, didn't I? I'll just make something out of those bits of P 
bits of, you see, I'm talking rubbish again, bits of papers. <laughs> I haven't been on the booze, I promise. Not today. I've not had much, to be honest, over Christmas. I'm not supposed to drink, as you know, so I've probably had three Baileys, which are probably bigger than pub, definitely bigger than pub measures, but not huge measures. And a glass of wine with my Christmas lunch. That is all I've had. I was going to have a lager as well, but I didn't. Well, I haven't so far, shall I say. <laughs> it's still there. So, but yeah, I know I've not been on the on the pop, on the adult pop. It's just me, <laughs> just naturally me talking rubbish. Um, of course, I could have decorated them. I still can if I want to, but I don't know that I do. Um, pockets them. So that's going to have a decoration on it and it's going to, it'll probably have a tab here with um, a journal card in it. I said not there, but I might. I might have a, oh, maybe a belly band would be nice on there. So let's decide about here. Are we going to have these that open? Did I glue them down so they would open? I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. So this will be under here, won't it? So I don't particularly want anything in the back. Like I said, I thought about a belly band, but I'm thinking, um, yeah, I'm thinking a, po a pocket at the bottom of that. So we'll leave the inside just for journaling. That definitely wants, I mean, that's nice for journaling as well, isn't it? This definitely wants some decoration on it, but I'm not sure that I want a pocket on it. Um, so do I want one on there or not? I'm not going to end up with pockets in here particularly, am I? Many, I mean. No. I know, I know it covers up that. That's quite nice though, isn't it? It covers up that bit, but I'm not bothered. Not overly bothered. I could have it up there, so it, we've got the... Yeah, let's just have the Latin version of green woodpecker and again this will be nice with some kind of a I think I don't want to put um, uh, embellishments on that are um, you know thick can't think of a better word than thick we know what I mean <laughs> yes thick thick is a good description I don't want to bulk bulky there we are I don't want to bulk it out too much so I might just use because I have got lots of stuff there to use up those lovely you know like these the embellishments that come with it I might just use those rather than bulky uh, clusters and things like that on these pockets I mean that's got a beautiful you maybe can't see it but it's got a beautiful snowflake on it now, how many prongs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I had a trivia question over Christmas that said, how many prongs does a snowflake have? I was going to say, I think the answer was eight, but now come to think about it, it wasn't, it was six. <laughs> and these big ones are nice, aren't they? Let's have this. Right, it is backed. I haven't inked it or anything like that. No too big for the bird's head so small might have a couple in it yeah it's not it's not set yet then I stop being rough with it yeah I might have that one in it and then a shorter I've got some shorter ones that I didn't um, have I? I didn't back there's one I left them as no ticket would be nice excuse my arm everybody they're running away yeah ticket out of there would be nice right um let's put them with that envelope because they're not ready to go in here yet okay so i've got my pocket on there did i ink that pocket i flipping well didn't i don't know denise it's really this top edge that needs it where it's been cut rather than that's better you can't even see possibly but yeah there's no fresh cut mark there now 
okay so what am i thinking envelope open that out and put a journal card in it so i said maybe a tuck in here as well as there didn't i just to give it a little bit of something so i've got this one oh, i didn't quite finish cutting that out look i quite like that christmas tree actually i mean i like them all but it's plain let's see if i can get a book not cut it out very well have I? bit of green going around the edge that's better can you even see right over there now i said maybe a belly band didn't i and i am thinking that might make a very small but sweet belly band Or a small tag to go that way in it might it oh decisions see perhaps i shouldn't be filming because i can't make a decision yeah i need to cut the green off that all together because i've i've cut it off the sides and it just doesn't quite look right i've cut it off three sides with me gung-ho cutting Bear with me. <clears throat> Bear with me, I'll speed me up. Probably can't even see what I'm doing. I'm miles away from the camera. And just something about the squareness of this that's making me like something in the middle of it, I guess. And I quite like that as well. Yeah, I really like that. I'm going to put that on there and then decide which piece I'm going to go put above it. And is it going down as a... I think I might put it down as a belly band rather than just a piece of decoration because you could ignore the fact that it's a belly band and just leave it as decoration. Or I might find something pretty. You know, like a piece of that music paper strip that's cut I could back it and put it fold it over and put it in there couldn't I all sorts of things I could do right so yeah I think this one because it's longer isn't it yeah just gives me that little bit of extra room to put something in could put a scrappy pad in there or anything that's enough isn't it right, let's get it fairly fairly straight <laughs> In the scheme of things that's it okay you can go back over there for now then so i really need to put this into my um guillotine to open the edge i think either that or have my head right over the top of it so it's not it's not going to be an ideal thing to do on camera but i am thinking i could get a tag ready for it could i well Yeah, I guess it depends how far in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Well, I'll just leave that there and then when I've opened it, I can see what size it needs to be. And we'll just back it onto some of my, um, I think it's that way up looking at the, yeah, mistletoe's growing up and that's coming down off the bow. Um, what was I saying? Open it up and yeah, back it with some of my paper. That's what I was saying. Some of my coffee dyed paper as a journal card, and we'll put a, um, a a tab on it in there. So I'm just seeing how much we've got. Oops, going on. These are going to want something in. Have we got anything? So we've got two pockets there. I don't want to put postcards in postcards. Now we've got these which are journal cards. Will one go that way? I'd have to make them smaller. No. Let's just see what else we've got. What's that one again? Oh, no, I quite like him stuck out. 
put about those two in that one and put some um, either some lace or fabric or something on the top as a pull tab and we'll do that next time because I haven't I've not brought my fabrics and my ribbons back in yet and we'll have to do that it looked quite nice in there didn't it I just saw that popping out of there that's nice and then yeah, we might trim that down to fit in there see how far Ooh, it's like my neighbours has got visitors yeah it's not going to be far off that but shall we shall we say that one in there then again we'll want back in but we'll leave it there so what have we got so far that's going in one that's going in the front that's going in the back they're going in there I can leave that one in well, I can probably put that one in like that and leave it in to remind me where it's going and this can probably go in the front now can't it because that should be dry again we can embellish it further or leave it for somebody to play with in the back we were having this and this and again it might end up with some lace or fabric or something luscious on the front I'll bring it all along to the party tomorrow whenever that day might be that's just in as a little extra piece yeah and I was thinking this I like this somewhere Oh yes, you can still see that. We've still got all that to write on. What do you think? And then we'll just embellish that, perhaps with some, um, um, yeah, stickers maybe. If I can find some nice, um, you know, green leafy kind of stickers, or. What was the other thing that was on my mind then? Die cuts, yes. Maybe some some nice die cuts. Oh, so good. I got my pockets. So I got two postcarded pockets and two of these in, didn't I? Yeah. A tuck and a belly band. Yeah, so I got them all in. So next time we will be embellishing the plain pieces and putting eyelets and strings on the tabs. And I will have stitched the journal up. Yes, I like that. Just going to stamp it in green. And we'll put a pocket in to put that journal in. Yeah, so whatever day this is, <laughs> that should be happening tomorrow. Yeah, I like that in there. Are you stuck down yet? Let's not force it. And then I need to decide if I want something on there or not. It's still not too big actually, so lace down there as well. Um, yeah, I might have a, a sideways on pocket there. But we've got this. Where's this going to go? Pity you're not the other way around. Not in there. No, you might just be tucked in somewhere. Now you would go in something. You would go in a side tuck just. I like that on show though, it's pretty. So I don't know, I'll have to have a think about that one. So we got a, a fair bit in, didn't we? Um, like I say, we might make that. Where did I put it? I might make it into a flippy pad and just add it along. This needs a home. This is going in. That's going to be made into a... Yeah, fill the word in for me. <laughs> a tag. And then we're going to use all this lovely... Well, not all of it, but quite a bit of this lovely kit here and some of this lovely glitter um, to embellish, embellish the rest of it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't really long, but... Um, 
yep hopefully it'll be a video on the Tuesday so you will um, get one every day this week fingers crossed it's been lovely to spend time with you and um, yes join me tomorrow see you soon bye bye